Sister Wives star and polygamist patriarch Cody Brown hasn't always been honest with the people in his life. And here are eight examples of his seemingly endless lies. 55-year-old Cody made his television debut in 2010 alongside his massive plural family. At the time, he was already married to three women and was courting a fourth wife, 45-year-old Robin Brown. At the time, the whole family lived in Utah in a large house separated into separate wings. Each of Cody's wives lived in her wing with their biological children, and Cody would go from wing to wing. At first, the big boisterous family seemed to be truly happy and in love with each other, but the good times didn't last. Though the show was supposed to chronicle the lives of a functional polygamous family, it ended up filming their dissolution instead. With Sister Wives season 19 on the horizon, three of Cody's wives have left the marriage, leaving Cody and Robin in a monogamous relationship that neither of them planned for. It all started with Cody's third wife, 52-year-old Christine Brown, leaving him in 2021, followed by his second wife, 55-year-old Janelle Brown, and his first wife, 53-year-old Mary Brown, in 2022. Some of Cody's 18 children don't even speak to him, and the ones who do continue to harbor resentment toward him. Though Cody carries a lot of bitterness towards his wives for everything that's happened over the years, he's the real villain of the story. Things were easier for the cast of Sister Wives when the Browns all lived under the same roof in their home in Utah. The house was designed by a polygamist for a polygamist family, so it couldn't have been more perfect for the Browns. During Sister Wives Season 1, Cody and his wives grew paranoid about Utah's strict anti-polygamy laws. Fearing they'd be prosecuted, the Browns quickly packed up and left the state. Living in four separate homes proved to be incredibly challenging for family cohesion. Sometimes, the houses were as much as a half-hour's drive from each other, which meant Cody had to drive long distances to see all of his wives and children. This left less time for Cody to actually spend with his family members, which led to a great deal of resentment, and it eventually became unsustainable, leading to the downfall of the Brown family. Throughout the years, Cody always saw himself as a victim, and judging by the Sister Wives season 19 trailer, which TLC recently posted on YouTube, Cody's more bitter and jaded than ever. His woe-is-me attitude has been a familiar, albeit unattractive, part of his personality throughout the long run of the Beloved series, and it would appear that nothing has changed for Cody. At one point during the trailer, the polygamist patriarch mournfully asks, What did I do to deserve this? If Cody is genuinely confused about what he did wrong, he should consider watching Sister Wives, seasons 1 through 18 for a full accounting of his many mistakes, missteps, and terrible decisions. Furthermore, unless Cody pulls himself together, his last remaining wife will follow his first three wives out the door. His victim mentality is out of control, and if he continues to act this way, Cody may end up single. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Browns were quarantined in four separate homes, and Cody would travel between them. The separation hurt the already strained family, so when Ariella Brown's fifth birthday rolled around, the family decided to finally get together. They dutifully tested beforehand and carefully followed CDC guidelines. The birthday party took place during Sister Wives season 16, and it went on without any issues. Days later, Robin tells the family that they had all been exposed to the COVID-19 virus, which Robin and Cody blamed on the nanny. With Robin and Cody not wanting to risk another exposure, that was the last time the Brown family got together in person. There has been speculation that the nanny never exposed the Browns to COVID-19 and that Cody and Robin just wanted an excuse to spend less time with the family. During the Sister Wives season 18 episode, Christine talked about being upset when Cody kissed Robin before the wedding, which was against Brown family dating rules. Before courting Robin, Cody and his wives had a rule against intimacy before marriage, which also banned kissing. Robin, who expressed guilt about the kiss, said, He kissed me, and I was like, All right, well, it's done. Robin blamed Cody for making the move on her, but she kissed him back and then helped him keep the secret. The fact that Robin was willing to break her fellow sister wives' intimacy rules 
while being dishonest about it was a sign of things to come, as Robin would continue to act as if the rules didn't apply to her. It would also not be the last time that Robin blamed her behavior on Cody in order to escape accountability. Throughout the years, Cody never took accountability for his problems and would often blame his wives. During COVID-19, Cody accused his wives and adult children of not respecting his health. When his older children struggled to follow his strict virus mitigation rules, he stopped seeing them. At one point, Cody demanded that Janelle kick their adult sons out of her home so Cody could visit, and her refusal to do so is what triggered her decision to leave Cody. During this time, Cody stopped speaking to several of his adult sons, including 25-year-old Garrison Brown, who tragically passed away in March. Cody and Garrison weren't on speaking terms when the young man passed away, which would probably haunt Cody for the rest of his life. Though Robin was often accused of wanting Cody all to herself, this wasn't true. It was clear that Robin wanted a plural marriage. She said that a big part of the reason she fell in love with Cody was because she fell in love with the whole family, wanting her children to be a part of the dynamic that only a big plural family could offer. Robin's first marriage was monogamous, and it ended badly in divorce. After several years of being a single mom of three kids, Robin met Mary, who introduced her to Cody and the Brown family. Robin believed in the principle of plural marriage and never wanted to be Cody's sole wife. With Mary, Janelle, and Christine gone, Robin is all alone in a monogamous relationship with Cody. Since Cody doesn't currently seem to have any intention of bringing another wife into the family, Robin may come to decide that their marriage isn't working for her. Cody married his first three wives over the course of four years, but a long 16 years would go by before the Browns added another wife to the mix. Bringing a new wife into his plural marriage appended the status quo, changing the dynamics between Cody and his other three wives. Things got worse when Cody openly favored Robin and spent more time at her house than with the other three wives. He claimed it was because they had small children together who needed him more than his older children, but that didn't satisfy anyone. It quickly became clear to the other wives that what he had with Robin was different from what he shared with them. The fact that he preferred Robin is what triggered his falling out with Christine, who became increasingly jealous of their relationship. Also, spending more time with Robin meant spending less time with his other wives, and the neglect wore on all of his relationships, including his relationship with his children. Cody had neglected Mary even before he married Robin, and it was always clear that she was his least favorite wife. While he favored Robin, he was still attracted to Christine and Janelle, with whom he shared stronger bonds. Cody seemed to have zero interest in Mary, and he wasn't honest about it wasting Mary's time instead. With their only child together grown and out of the house, Cody had increasingly little reason to spend nights at Mary's house, and he took advantage of it. Instead of valuing the marriage and working to make Mary happy, he increasingly ignored her and would reject her repeatedly. Though he had fallen out of love with her, he never told her and continued to string her along. Despite Cody's mistreatment of Mary, she stayed loyal long after he told her he was no longer attracted to her. It wasn't until the bitter end that he finally told her that he couldn't see himself being in a real marriage with her, which is what prompted Mary to finally work up the nerve to leave Cody.